Hello everyone. So today I'm going to discuss a very important topic in the psychiatry portion, uh, which is drug addiction. So suppose you have a patient who comes to you and he says that doctor, um, I, I'm taking heroin or I'm taking some other drug and um, I've been taking it for the last five years or seven years or something like that. And now I want to stop taking it and I want to lead a better life. So how are you going to proceed with this station? What are the questions that you need to be asking in the history? Uh, what are the problem that you need to, you know, um, that you need to find out and how do you provide management to this patient? Okay, so let's take a look into that. So the first part of the history taking here is to ask general questions about the drug, okay? So for example, what sort of drug do you take? And how long have you been taking it for? How often do you take it? Do you take it every day? Do you take it every other day, etc.? So if the person is taking it every day, then you should ask about how many times a day, all right? How do you take it? Do you take it orally? Uh, do you inject? If the person is injecting, then you should ask about shearing needles, okay? Do you shear needles? And if he says yes, then you need to ask about the needle exchange program. Do you know about needle exchange program? Okay, but do not start explaining the needle exchange program here. Okay, if he's sharing needle, ask about the needle exchange program, if he whether he's aware of it, okay? But do not start explaining it here. We will explain it in the management part, okay? The second part here, so you ask about, uh, you know, generally the questions about the drug, um, the amount, the route, the frequency, etc. Now you need to establish that, okay, this person is taking this drug, but can we truly call him an addict, okay? Is he addicted to it? So the criteria for, you know, to establish addiction is something that we call as cage TWD, okay? But so in cage, the C stands for cutting down, uh, A stands for annoyance, G stands for guilt, and E stands for eye opener. And the TWD part, T stands for tolerance, W for withdrawal, and B for dependence so it's kind of an acronym and uh, the each letter stands for a specific question and if the answer to that is yes then you know that the person is truly addicted to the specific drug okay now in the cage uh, in the cage part uh, the alcohol and the guilt these are specifically for sorry the annoyance and the guilt these are specifically for alcohol these are not for any other drug so if this patient is for example <coughs> taking some other drug like heroin like um eyes or any other drug then uh, we, sh we will only ask about the cutting down in the eye opener and the twd part that is tolerance withdrawal and dependence but not about annoyance and guilt these are specifically for alcohol and i will make uh, a separate video about alcohol dependence as well and i will explain it in detail there so um regarding cutting down we should ask the patient have you ever tried to cut it down okay if yes then when was it okay when did you try to cut it down and how did you try to cut it down was it you know um, individually or did you take any professional help and why did they attempt to fail okay you need to look for the reason why he failed in the past okay so he does not repeat the same mistake again all right uh, as i already told you annoyance and guilt is for alcohol only so we will skip it here and we will proceed to the eye opener part so eye opener is basically if person needs to take the drug in order to uh, start their day so in as in open their eyes okay so we should ask the patient do you take drugs in order to start your day with okay so this is an eye opener now in the twd part uh, the tolerance withdrawal and dependent dependence for withdrawal we will ask for withdrawal and dependence we have these set of questions for withdrawal we will ask if you do not take drugs for some time do you develop any symptoms okay if you do not take a drug for some time do, do you develop any symptoms and what symptoms are those okay after how much time do you develop these and how do you manage these symptoms okay so what symptoms, basically, we need to know whether the patient develops diarrhea, whether the patient develops itching, whether he gets nauseous. We need to know about the withdrawal symptoms because we need to manage these symptoms, okay? So we are, if we are helping a patient to quit, we need to know about their withdrawal symptoms because the withdrawal symptoms are one of the major reasons why the patients start taking the drug again to avoid the withdrawal symptoms because they are quite um, annoying. So we need to know about that. We need to ask whether he has ever developed any seizures because if the patient is developing seizure during the withdrawal, then we need to 
uh, hospitalize him for the uh, for the you know uh, for quitting the addiction for rehabilitation okay uh, also if you can see the patient uh, visibly becoming restless Sorry, I had to pause the video because of uh, Azan in the background, but we will continue again now. So if you can see the patient uh, visibly becoming restless or, you know, moving legs or looking here and there, then you can just ask that I can see that you are a bit restless and a bit anxious. Is it because you've not taken the drug for some time? Okay, so you need to verbalize what you are seeing. Okay, then for the tolerance part, we need to ask. Do you need to take more and more drug in order to achieve the same effect as before? Okay, so if the answer to this question is yes, if the patient needs to take more and more drug in order to achieve the same effect, if he needs to take the drug in the morning as an eye opener, if um, you know, he has tried to cut it down multiple times, but he has failed, and if he is experiencing withdrawal symptoms, that you have uh, the answer to your question, is he addicted to the drug? Yes, he is addicted to the drug, okay? Now, the other part, like the third part, after establishing his drug addiction, we need to know about the risk factors, okay? Why is he taking this drug, okay? So we should ask uh, the patient, is there any, uh, you know, factor, is there any reason that is pushing you to take drugs, okay? Because this is an important question because we need to work on the reason. Why is he taking drug, okay? And how is your mood? Uh, so because in depression, people can sometimes take uh, the help of drugs, you know, to, to uh, battle their feeling of, uh, you know, emptiness. So we need to ask about mood. If the mood is low, then you need also need to assess the risk of self-harm, okay? So is there any reason that is pushing you to take drugs? And how is your mood? Then the social history you need to ask. Um, so who do you live with? Do you have a job, etc.? And uh, do you have any kids at home? This question is very important. Do you have any kids at home? And do you take drugs at home? Have you ever taken the drug in front of the kids? This is a very, very important question. Okay, please do not forget this. Because if this patient is, he's having kids at home, then you need to involve social services. So if the patient says, yes, I have kids at home and I take drugs at home as well, then the next question that you need to ask is, are the social services involved, okay? Because more likely than not, if this patient is a known drug addict and he has tried to cut down in the past, then social services will be involved. Social services in this case are not there to take the kids away, okay? But, you know, to um, monitor the environment and to make sure that the environment for them is uh, safe to grow. Okay, so this is an important question. If social services has not been involved, then you will involve the social services. So make sure that you ask this question. Um, this is basically, you know, uh, this shows to the examiner that you are thinking holistically. You are not only thinking about you, the person who's sitting in front of you, but other people who are involved as well. Okay, then the next question here is the medication allergies and the medicines. Okay, so the routine questions. Do you have any other medical conditions at all? Any allergies? And um, are you on any regular medications? Okay. So now your history taking is complete. Okay, you ask general questions about the drug and then you establish whether the patient is dependent on the drugs or not. What are his risk factors? Is it uh, any other reason? Is it the low mood that is pushing him? Then the social part of his history and then the medical part. Now you should ask about any ideas, concerns and expectations. Were you expecting anything in particular from the team today? Is there anything that you are concerned about? Any fears or worries regarding the quitting the drug? Okay, this is very important as well. Please do not forget about ideas, concerns and expectations. Okay, then you need to examine just, you know, the general physical examination. <coughs> Sorry. Just a general physical examination in the vitals. Now comes the management part. So in the management, we are going to inform our seniors. We are going to do routine blood tests and toxicology for drug levels. Okay. And um, if he's taking, you know, if he's sharing needles, then also uh, screening for hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and HIV as well. Okay, but you need to take you need to inform the patient that uh, you need to take separate consent for that. That would you like us to test your blood for HIV because that is a, a you know, a, it's really common in people who share needles. Okay, 
And then medications, what medication are we, we are going to give to this patient? We'll tell the patient that we will give you medications to manage your cravings. And that medication is called methadone. And you will need to take it for one to two years. And we'll give you some medications to manage your withdrawal symptoms as well. Okay, so these this is the medication part. But the drug addiction, they also need not only medication, but psychosocial support. So we will refer this patient for CBT. We'll tell them that we will refer you to one of our counselors for talking therapy. And they will tell you uh, certain, they, they will work on the reason on why you are taking this drug. And they will um, you know, teach you some coping mechanism to resist the urge of taking drugs, okay? Support groups where you will meet people who have overcome the drug addiction and they will, you know, you will listen to their stories, motivating stories, and it will help you in going through this difficult process, okay? And arrange social workers if the patient has kids. So you will arrange social workers to monitor that the environment is safe for them to go. So that was all about drug addiction. I will make another... Uh, video on alcohol dependence and also smoking cessations because these are very very important topics in psychiatry i hope this video was helpful and i will see you soon with another video